This is Highfield's Ultralight 260, and if you're looking for a light, lightweight tender for the back of a davit system or a sailboat, this would be it. Marine grade aluminum construction, but single hull floor for the least amount of weight possible. This boat by itself only weighs 68 pounds. You can add a little five horse, which adds another 50. So total package, one of the lightest in existence. All the same features of the rest of the Highfield lineup, including optional Hypalon tubing. Other than a few stowable roll-up models, all Highfield inflatable boats have rigid aluminum hulls, which are welded for strength and powder-coated for durability. Even their lightest single-floor models are welded, which provide a level of rigidity not found in slotted hulls. Combined with added buoyancy from oversized 15-inch tubes, this 8.5-foot boat is surprisingly stable. This particularly benefits passengers that might feel uneasy in a smaller boat. As with all high fields, the UL260 PVC seams are hot welded, which tends to be more durable than traditional gluing. If you expect your tender will remain exposed to the elements, synthetic rubber Hypalon is available as a premium option. And if you do choose Hypalon, it's nice to know that Highfield matches component material and secures them with the same rubber hypalon to avoid potential delamination that can occur with dissimilar materials. While I wouldn't consider the UL260 a luxury boat, it is after all designed to be as light as possible. But that doesn't mean it's a stripped down no frills model either. The removable seat is standard equipment and designed to float just in case it goes for a swim. The seat cushion with integrated storage has to be one of the handiest features helping keep your gear dry and off the deck. Notice the non-skid material on the deck? Also standard equipment, as is the full-length keel guard and rub strake. What really impresses me are the small details that often go unnoticed. For example, there are extra straps inside to stow the oars for longer trips, so your guests don't have to sit on them. The lifting points are located low in the hull to help secure your high field on a davit system or a hoist. A plastic cover on the back of the transom helps secure the engine, but extends over the top to protect the paint, while an anti-vibration plate on the front side provides similar protection. Even the drain plug includes a tether to keep it where it belongs. These are signs of a manufacturer committed to continuous improvement. In an environmentally conscious time, it's also interesting to note that aluminum, as opposed to its GRP counterpart, is easy to recycle. As an added bonus, the powder coating method has the benefit of releasing fewer toxins to the environment than traditional painting. The little 5 horsepower Honda isn't going to break any speed records, but it does eliminate much of the work with those more distant moorings. However, if you prefer to row, it's nice to know most of your effort will be translated into forward motion, as rigid inflatables tend to be more efficient than those with soft bottoms. In fact, if your exposure is limited to soft bottom inflatables, you really must experience the benefits of a rigid aluminum tender. They are incredibly stable, row like a dream, and with a little outboard, you might find yourself exploring new anchorages.